Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer? Ronnie Sweater and I tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can easily color grade and get the best out of your files using Camera Raw. So, Camera Raw is a plugin for Photoshop for converting raw files, and also you can use it to color grade your images. And before you proceed, simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe if I told you're watching this video and you're not yet subscribed to this channel. So, you can see a quick before and after. So, this is what we have as a uh, before, and this is the after before after you can see what you're going to be achieving by the end of this very uh tutorial so i'm just going to come and right now i'm just going to come and i reset everything to the default so in order to import your image into photoshop simply right click the image which you want to edit and you can right click on the raw file and select open with photoshop so let me just do that right now so i'll just come to photoshop sorry about this I'll come right here to my image, right click and come to open with and select the image that I want to edit. I'll select Photoshop 2020 and if at all it is a, a raw file, it is going to automatically open up this camera raw filter. So right now this is the camera raw filter as you are seeing, and I'm using the camera raw version of 13.0. So what I'll do, you can first of all analyze the photo that you want to edit and after analyzing it, look at what you have to first of all correct before diving into the color grading so for this case i just want to correct the lighting and contrast issues even the temperature of this image so i'll just go briefly through these processes so exposure is the brightness levels of a given image then contrast as it dictates right here it is the contrast level the highlights you can either increase or decrease the highlights the shadows you can remove all add shadows to the image then whites dictates the levels of whites and the blacks dictates the levels of blacks in the image so for this case i just want first of all open up the exposure of this image because i felt like it was a little bit underexposed then i'll take the highlights down to around negative 76 and you can either take out highlights or reduce on the amount of highlights in the image and i'll do the same for the whites to get the image looking better then I'll come and take the contrast slider up to add contrast to the image. Then since the shadows are a little bit crushed in the background right there, I'll open up the shadows to bring back information in the shadow areas of uh, this very photo. So right now, I have corrected the contrast and lighting issues regarding this image. I could just come and add blacks to the image. Slightly to around negative 7 is okay. So after doing this, the next thing is going to be adding a little bit of warmth to the image because i felt like it was a little bit on the cooler side what you have to take into consideration is warmer images are slightly easy when it comes to color grading so i'll just come to my temperature slider and you can either cool down the image by taking the slider down if at all the image is too yellow or too warm or you can add some warmth to the image by taking up the temperature slider so for this case i'll slightly take mine up to around 5400 that is okay for me then if i told you having more greens or magentas to the image you can reduce them or increase the reds in the image by taking this thin slide and playing around with it so when we are done correcting the lighting and con contrast issues just the before and after so far the next thing is going to be the major emphasis of this tutorial which is the color grading using the camera filter and as it suggests you can just scroll down to the color mixer first of all before we dive into the color grading itself so under color mixer right now we have hue saturation and luminance so basically what the hue slider basically is going to do to the image for example if at all we use the predominant color within this very photo you can see the greens are part of the majority of the colors in the photo so if at all we come to the greens and we play around with the hue slider you can see it can change that color depending on this shade that we want so for example the green hue towards the left hand side is going to make the greens look like a color on top of it which is the yellows and moving the slider towards the right hand side you're going to make the greens look like a color below it which is the aquas so for this case depending on the look that you're going in for for my case i would like the model to pop out of the background so i'll just come and take up the green swords uh the aquas 
and I'll do the same for the yellows just like that. So around negative plus 38 for the yellows. Then we are going to dive into the reds. So I feel like I have a little bit of the reds within the skin tone. So I'll take the red slider towards the oranges slightly to around 5. Then we are going to dive into the saturation. And saturation basically is the intensity of a given color. So for instance, you can see if at all I take the orange slider towards the left hand side, I will be removing oranges from the image. And if at all I take the oranges up, you can see you're going to be adding oranges into the image. So that is how the saturation slider is going to be working. So for my case, I'm just going to reduce on the intensity or the saturation of the greens because I feel like that is a little bit oversaturated. So I'll come and I take out the greens from uh, the image around negative 32 and I will slightly reduce on the yellows too. And that is going to create a balance within uh, the image. So I'll come to luminance and remember luminance is the brightness level of a given color. It is either the brightness or darkness of a given color. So for my case, I'll just come and slightly darken the oranges. You can see, you can either darken the oranges or you can brighten the oranges. So I'll slightly darken the oranges to add up or to add or increase on the contrast within the image. So after I've done that, the next thing is going to be coming to color grading right here. And under color grading, you can see that we have these three wheels which represent the mid-tones, the shadows, and the highlights. So if at all I want to add a given color, for example, in the mid-tones, you can click in the middle and you drag around to see the effect that you want to add to the image. So right now I would love the mid-tones or the skin tones to be a little bit more on the warm side. So I'll just add a tiny bit of oranges. So when you move this circle towards the edge, it's going to increase on the saturation or the amount of color that you're adding. And when you move it towards the center, it's going to reduce on the intensity or the amount of color in a given photo. So I'll just come and first of all take it all the way up towards the edge of the circle. Then I'll bring it back in the middle to reduce on the intensity. So after I've done that, I'll just come right here and I'll come to my shadows. And in the shadows, I'm going to add a tiny bit of cooling towards the shadows by adding that kind of blue color to the shadows. Then I'll come to the highlights and I'll simply add a tiny bit of greens to the highlights. Just a tiny bit. Don't do too much. I'll just add a tiny bit of uh, that color towards uh, my highlights. So that is okay and the image now looks great and it looks fine. So I could as well add a tiny bit of more of the oranges in my mid-tones, just like that. So you can see what we have the before and the after so far. So next thing is going to be coming down and making the image pop a little bit more. So we are going to come to the calibration panel in Camera Row. And you can see that we have different sliders, shadows. You can add a tint to the shadows or you can play around with the red primary, green primary, and blue primary. So in order to make the image pop, you can either come the saturation and take the slider up. And that is going to increase on the amount of colors in a very natural way. And if at all you want to mute the colors or reduce on the saturation, this is going to reduce on the intensity of the colors in the image, as opposed to using the saturation slider in the basic panel. Because when you use this, it is going to produce unnatural results. You can see a difference in this case. So I'm going to come back to the calibration panel. And I'll come to the saturation of the blue primary and I'll just take it up slightly to around, I think, around. Five. five is fine and I'll also come to the hues you can either add greens to the reds of the image or you can either add magentas to the reds in the image but this is also going to affect the greens in the image so for my case I'll just come and add a tiny bit of uh, the greens to uh, the skin tone I think this looks okay and this looks great 
and i think that looks okay it looks great and don't overdo the color grading for all your color grading photos so this is the before after before after so right now we are done color grading the image if at all you want to do any other corrections you can just come and reduce on the intensity if at all you have overdone a given area or if at all the image is too warm you can just come and slightly reduce on the temperature just like that and just like that you have been able to color grade the image and this is a before after before after before after so this is how you can easily color grade the images into photoshop so in order to open the image into photoshop to do the final adjustment simply come right here and click on open so when you click on open it is going to open the image into photoshop and you can do the final adjustments like add the skin retouching and the rest of the minor adjustments that you'd love to add to your photos so this is it for this video and if at all you have enjoyed this simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you're watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more videos on this channel and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating